The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Working the Heart's Soil. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till He come and rain righteousness upon you. Hosea 10, verse 12. Let every church member consider the breaking up of the fallow ground, the careful cleansing of the soil, and the depositing and harrowing of the seed, which is the labor's work of the husbandman. It is a rough and searching process. The harrowing of the seed is not always pleasant to the receiver, and sometimes disabling to him because he does not sense the virtue of the word and becomes submissive under the tilling process in spiritual life. The sins committed require the sincere repentance that needeth not to be repented of. But when the hard soil is broken up and the stubborn clods are broken to pieces, then the precious seed can be sown and harrowed into the soil. This represents the severe discipline of God. Often rebellion is manifested and the discipline of God must continue until the determined will is broken and the end is gained. In things spiritual as well as natural, this work must be done. Often severity is needed to bring in the spiritual harvest. It is God's great law that without the proper sowing of seed and the tillage, there will be no harvest in sheaves, and experience is lacking. Divine blessings wait only for human spiritual working of the soil of the heart and the industry to the care for the soil while the Lord is sowing his seed. As a man soweth, he shall also reap. All who study the word with full purpose to cleanse away from the life all sin and who search the scriptures to learn what is truth will welcome the truth of the word as a thus saith the Lord. They will repent under the sharp reproofs of Bible truth. If a man sow true repentance, he will reap the reward of sound, good works. If he continues in the faith, he reaps peace. If he becomes sanctified and cleansed from his appetite for cheapness and folly, he shall reap righteousness and perfect love. A continuance in the well-doing and overcoming makes him a daily victor because he keeps the mark of Christ's perfection ever before him.